Well, here we are in the village of Shelland. And this is the church of King Charles the Martyr. And it's really quiet here. Just have a little look around because we are in the middle of, well, I wouldn't say nowhere because everyone's somewhere, but it is very quiet here beautiful spot. A lovely day. So, we've got this gravel path walking underneath and between these two large trees and we're met with some headstones here in the shade of this tree I think there's some on this side yeah and then we've got the church my, that is a small church. That's one of the smallest churches that we've seen yet in Suffolk. And I suspect that it was originally even smaller. I guess the original church was just the main building, possibly without even that porch. And then we've got an extension at the back little tower of belfry at the top. My, that's lovely. We come out into the sunlight and have a look at this churchyard. It's not very large at this side, but we've got a hedge with some old headstones here. On the other side, oh, there's some big, this is a very large double headstone here. The grass is beautiful, really well kept. Another path running diagonally through the yard there. And just rows of old headstones look fairly uniform really, all of what seems to be a similar age. We'll have a look around the uh, other side of the church I think. Sad cross here that's fallen off its plinth. The wind is coming up so we'll just take some shelter from the wind. church. That's really nice, isn't it? Look at that. The belfry at the top is rendered, painted, and then all the walls here have been rendered by the look of it. That lovely window has been added. guessing that that window is not as old as the original church, stained glass. And this is a rendered wall that's been, or is it stone? No, this is rendering. This is rendering that's been lined out to look like a stone wall. So I'm assuming that it is a flint church underneath. And here on the other side we've got mainly grass with a few headstones but 
can see the beautiful countryside, the beautiful Suffolk countryside where this church is uh, situated in. It's almost like a garden here. Like somebody's garden, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's lovely in the sun. Sun's gleaming on the white of that belfry tower. We've got a small window. It's, looks like it's coloured, coloured glass, stained glass. And a little extension, which there again's got a stained glass in it. And a bigger window over there. with a lovely bench to sit in the sun. But there are literally no headstones here. This part of the churchyard. Just the just the one and two here. I'm guessing that the churchyard was cleared of headstones at some time. So at the far end of the churchyard here we've got a mixture of some old graves and some more modern headstones. There's more modern ones here, more recent. And here we get a much better view of the church see that it's got two larger windows there in the main part of the building and a large window at the end which will be behind the altar. So here at the rear of the church behind the which is behind the altar that we get a lovely view of this rear window and also another panoramic view of this wonderful churchyard set in the glorious Suffolk countryside my this is a really lovely churchyard here we've got all these older headstones. We'll have a look and see what um, what the inside of this church looks like. Well, this is the the, uh, the porch entrance, the gravel path going up to it, and actually looking at this church, and you know, it's rendered and it's got brickwork on the piers at the side. My feeling is perhaps that this is not as old as we think. And I certainly don't have any information about the church and I'm just looking at it as an observer or a tourist almost, but it possibly is not as old. Could even be some something from the Victorian era. But anyway, it certainly is lovely. But that brickwork doesn't look that old. Got a stone floor with bricks, and that floor certainly looks Victorian. It's a small little porch, no windows. coming in. Well, just stopped and take this in because this is lovely. 
a mixture of an old building and some modern adaptations. We've got all these pews here that are set in little cubicles. Now they look very Victorian or even Edwardian. And the floor is certainly Victorian with bricks and little diamonds there which are memorials. The windows on this side here are plain glass. A little bit of coloured work on the top. But they're letting in quite a lot of light. And then the, the window behind the altar is actually plain glass, which there again is delightful because it's letting in a lovely amount of light. And usually we've got a painted ceiling. Lovely blue. It's unusual because most of the churches around here have got wooden ceilings. Now the floor is older so this maybe is an indication that parts of this church are actually older than um, the rest. So we'll just have a look in here. There are memorials all around the floor, but it is always possible that they came from somewhere else. I don't know if there's any dates that we can see on this. The date of 1681 here, on this one, where this person died. Now whether this was actually put there in 1681 in that place, I'm not sure. I just don't know. My guess is I, that there was an old church here at that time, but it's been reworked during Victorian period. But anyway, in this church today, we've got a small, little small organ here, which is lovely, a sweet organ. We've got a fabric dado running around the area here. That's carpet. Memorial here on the wall in marble looks lovely. And that ceiling, the little cream edging on the bottom, it's lovely. We've got the altar, flowers. Lovely to see the flowers. People have come in and put them here. It's very quiet in here as well. Very, very quiet. If we look down the aisle to where the little tower is, little belfry. See that there's an organ. These little cubicles for the congregation. We don't see this very much in Suffolk. There's the pulpit there. Have a look in here. Oh, isn't that great? Now, my guess is that these were for families, local families would come in, so one family would sit in each of these cubicles. 
Presumably there weren't that many people coming to this church. It's pretty isolated. These windows, which I thought were stained glass, are actually mostly plain. And consequently, the church is well lit. Now, one of the things that I have to point out that is really, really beautiful about this church is the walls that are painted. Now, we've got the blue ceiling, obviously, but we've also got a lovely pink way of, they've painted the walls. Absolutely beautiful. What a difference it's made to this church. And the beams at the top, which have been painted red. What a difference that painting has made to the church. And we've gone into so many Suffolk churches where they're just painted white. And the church, of, the effect at the end is so stark. But here, it's got a warmth to it. Absolutely lovely. It's got a lovely little font look with a wooden top. So there again, somebody's put a vase of beautiful flowers here. Now up here we've got some memorials I think. This one is World War I. And on the other side of this door we've got a memorial to World War II. There are a lot of aspects of this church that are obviously new. This door here is not old. That doesn't dis detract from this church. And in fact, it looks beautiful against that pink um, plaster. And there is the organ at the back. But it's a shame that the um, Actually, the organ hides the window, that small round window. And we can see the access to the belfry. I don't think there's any bells up there, but I'm not certain. Lovely, quiet, beautiful atmosphere here. Got a few more little cubicles here. Ah, we have got bells. There's the bell pull. So we just come up here next to the organ, we get a better view of the church looking down towards the altar. And actually we had a look at some of the information that's down there. And it seems that this church is actually Georgian. That would make more sense actually. But standing here and, and, and looking at the, uh, the whole atmosphere of this church and the colors and the paint, way it's painted, I have to say that it's, it's got more atmosphere than many of the churches that we've seen. And it's a shame that so many of the Suffolk churches haven't considered painting their walls. It does make a big difference. It's a beautiful church, beautiful. So we'll walk back 
walk down this gravel path and I know I've said it many times but this would be an absolutely amazing church to be married in the atmosphere in the churchyard and we can go into the church is so wonderful it would make a venue for a really intimate and wonderful wedding Fantastic church, fantastic Suffolk church. A credit to the people that are looking after it. I must thank them all.